Everton defender Ben Godfrey has rejected the offer of a new deal at Goodison Park. Uh, Godfrey, 26, has 12 months left on his current deal. And manager Sean Dyche wanted them to remain with the Toffees. Uh, Godfrey has been linked with a number of clubs, uh, including ones from Italy, Milan and Bologna, both reportedly interested in the defender. And Borussia Dortmund have also been uh, credited with having an interest in him too. I think the reason for him rejecting the contract is probably given his age. Now we want to tie it down a, a place in a team somewhere, and obviously at Everton with Jared Brantwaite and James Tarkovsky playing most of the games last season and Ford and a really good partnership. There's no way he's going to get in there. That is if Brantwaite stays, of course. And the manager used him a full-back at times as well last season, but if he sees himself as a centre-back, he's going to be looking to try and move on. And who knows, he might have wanted a better deal, uh, more money than Everton were prepared to offer him. But I think it's probably more down to playing time. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Ben there. Manchester United are reportedly unwilling to match Everton's evaluation of Jared Branthwaite. Uh, the Toffees are thought to want at least £75 million for the young defender. Listen, if United don't want to pay that kind of money, move on. There's plenty other defenders in the world. Leave Branthwaite where he is. I think from an Everton perspective, it's absolutely right we stick to our guns on this. We, uh, we've chased players in the past and the clubs have sold us to go away because we couldn't get near their valuation. And that's what we should do to United. And if they don't want to pay the money, they don't want to pay the money. They paid £80 million for Harry Maguire. And Branthwaite's far better prospect than what Maguire was when United took him. So... We'll see whether they come back with that. But like I said, there are other defenders in the world for them to go and buy. Uh, and Manchester United are apparently also admirers of Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. The forward only has 12 months left on his current deal. Everton have offered him a new deal. But, you know, United have been linked with former Everton trialist Joshua Zerksy. Zerksy, who is available for £34 million for Bologna. But they also see Calvert-Lewin who is valued at around £25 million as a, a good option instead of Xerxes. But Xerxes is only 23. Different type of striker than Dominic Calvert-Lewin as well. Who knows? But, you know, from an Everton perspective, I think we need a, we need a decision off Dom. You know, at least with Ben Godfrey, he's rejected the deal. And so everybody knows where they stand. And listen, Dominic Calvert-Lewin might have verbally agreed a new deal with Everton and it might just not have, have got out there or got round to signing it yet but if Dom is still weighing it up and Newcastle United are also monitoring the situation we need a decision off him as soon as possible so we can uh, we can start making alternate plans and finally Everton defender Vitaly Mikhalenko limped off after just 26 minutes of the Ukraine's 4-0 victory over Moldova uh, Mikhalenko's had an initial scan and we'll have another one, but uh, head coach Sergei Rebrov said that he was calmer after the first scan, and he's hopeful that the injury isn't serious enough to rule Michalenko out of the Euros. Hopefully, not hopefully, uh, Michalenko gets to play in the Euros. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.